Good evening. My name is Lorenzo Brown, and I'm the principal of Matthew C. Perry High School. I would like to welcome you to our commencement exercise for the class of 2015. In preparation for our ceremony, I would like to ask that you please turn off or place your cell phones on vibrate. If you have small children, please place them on vibrate as well. <laughs> we will have a photographer to take official photographs and ask that you not come down to the stage area. You may, however, position yourself to take pictures as the graduates begin the processional. Lastly, while this is an extremely joyous time for us all, please assist me by helping preserve the dignity and respect that this special type of ceremony deserves. As the name of the senior is called, we will read a short statement written by that senior. I ask that you please make sure that everyone's statement can be heard by maintaining your silence. It is now time to introduce our mistress of ceremony as we begin this commencement exercise. I introduce to you now, Ms. Deborah Kehoe. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Matthew C. Perry High School, class of 2015 commencement ceremony. I would like to introduce the faculty of Matthew C. Perry High School, followed by the class of 2015.
please rise for the presentation of Colors, the singing of the National Anthem by Matthew C. Perry's own Tenacity Clayton, and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance by Monica Grant. Members of the senior class will now extend an international welcome to you all. Good evening. My name is Tanessa Clayton, and I would like to welcome you to the commencement ceremony of Matthew C. Perry High School for the class of 2015. We'd like to thank all the faculty, friends, family, and honored guests who grace us here with their presence at this shining moment in our lives. We hope that this evening will be a memorable celebration of our class's accomplishments as we close the chapter in one phase of our lives and turn the page towards another, more exciting phase towards our future. Magandang gabi. Ako po si John Cadavos, 
Hamalugod ko po kayo ang tinatanggap sa programang pagtatapos ng Matthew C. Perry High School, klase 2015. Taos puso po kaming nagpapasalamat sa mga guro, mga kaibigan, mga pinagpipitagang panakuhin at higit sa lahat. Sa aming mga mahal na pamilya na narito ngayon upang samahan kami sa mahalagang panahon ng aming buhay. Umaasa kaming magiging makabuluhan ang gabing ito ng aming pagbubunyi sa mga nagawa ng aming klase. Sa pagsara ng isang ito ng aming buhay at sa muling pagkas ng nakapananabig na panibagong talhana tungo sa aming kinabukasan. こんばんは。本日はご多忙の中、MC standing you can, can please come in there are plenty of seats we have time and we have plenty of seats As the principal of Matthew C. Perry High School, it is such an honor for me to welcome you to our 2015 commencement ceremony. I would like to extend a personal welcome to Colonel Robert Boucher, Commanding Officer, Marine Corps Air Station, Iwakuni, who is also in a dual role as speaker this year, and his wife, Julie, and their three wonderful children. My awesome assist assistant principal, Priscilla Hill, our senior class sponsor, Mr. Matthew Barker, and the senior class counselor, Ms. Deb Kehoe. Dr. Suzanne Landrum, Principal M.C. Perry Elementary School. Ms. Felicia P.J., our school liaison officer. 
And last but not least, my family, whose endearing support sustains me daily, especially my lovely wife, Linda. I would also like to welcome Team Samurai, the faculty and staff, the students, parents, community members of Matthew C. Matthew C. Perry High School and Elementary School, as well as your invited guests, those in the local area and those who came from afar. Please feel welcome to our 2015 commencement ceremony. A commencement is a beginning. Many of our 28 seniors woke up today thinking this is the end of high school. In reality, it is the beginning of the rest of their lives. Just when it seems I have nothing new to share about seniors, as this is my 27th high school graduation. This class reminds me from top to bottom that they are so talented and so unique and they always find a way to make me laugh. Just who are the members of the class of 2015? I would like to paint a picture for you since you asked that question. Approximately 14% plan on immediately serving our nation's military in various service branches. 70% plan to attend a two or four year college or university with another 11% pursuing work uh, work in the uh, workforce. Our seniors have amassed nearly $384,000 in scholarships from local as well as non-local resources. They are a very impressive senior class. They are hardworking and dedicated to their mission. Last year at graduation, I said I had never been around a better behaved group of seniors. Well, this year, I find that statement to no longer be true. Let's give our prospective graduates a round of applause. A tradition that has served me well is providing senior interview sheets to seniors so that I can establish a senior profile, as I said, to paint a picture of this class. The following results of those interviews um, I will share with you now. I asked about the many moves of the seniors and their families working for the Department of Defense. And our seniors, on average, have moved 3.03 times in their lives, with Alexa Hodges moving eight times and having attended seven schools during the past 12 years. Five students, including Michael Foreman, Josh Pruitt, Richie Roth, Daniel Montez de Oca, and Tenacity Clayton have moved five times. Michael Foreman also attended seven schools followed by Daniel Montez de Oca, Mark Hornbrook, Laramie Phillips, Elise Silvis, and Tenacity Clayton, who each attended six different schools. Three students, Dina Roman, Samantha Gilbert, and Monica Grant, have been educated their entire lives in Iwakuni and Perry schools. Four of our seniors are first-time samurai having arrived this year. Austin Blake, Michael Foreman, Darnell Richardson, and Mark Hornbrook. Although the first official graduate of the class of 2015 was actually Preston Duquette, who graduated in February. I also asked about the changes they would make to the school or personally, where they see themselves 10 years from now and their fondest Perry members. And I would like to share some of those with you also. Personal or school change to do more Far East events as a freshman. For a school change, 10 students said nothing. They wanted to change nothing about the school. For a personal change, six students said nothing. They didn't have anything that they needed to change. Three are not so fond of the school lunches. Nine said they would focus more on school. One said to try harder. For school, they said nothing, expanded so more people can experience paradise. Someone said I need more seminar time. <laughs> that we would get half days every other Wednesday just like the elementary school. <laughs> I wish it wasn't so small. Website blocking. Not to be lazy. To do more to help the community to change people's attitude about this being a bad school, to live less cautiously, 
to turn in excuses for absences on time. <laughs> An official senior skip day, since I am writing this from Saturday detention. <laughs> Ten years from now, we will be looking at a business owner, two graphic designers, an Air Force officer, a pro soccer player or physical therapist, someone working in the film industry, an event planner, a pharmacist, someone living in Florida as an underwater archaeologist, working in Japan's global sector for international business, a PhD in genetics, in the military, living in Georgia, getting money. <laughs> I want that job. <laughs> Editor-in-chief of a reputable fashion magazine, pursuing my passion for education, having a good job and in a committed relationship, and in 20, 20 years, a great job, two kids, husband, and basically a millionaire. <laughs> That's not a bad gig either. Fondest memories, Far East sports and academics was mentioned 10 times. Homecoming and hall decorating, winning four consecutive Far East soccer championships. The soccer champ championship with my 11 brothers. Seminar, karaoke, although I didn't know we had that class. <laughs> Lifelong friends, hashtag ATM. Playing sports, broadcasting the Far East basketball tournament. And someone said, all of them. And everything. And my favorite, too many to name. Those are their fondest memories. What I have just read is a sampling of the memories of Perry High School. Your heartwarming stories tell me that Perry High School has touched your lives in positive and hopefully unforgettable ways. And it makes me happy to know that you won't soon forget Paradise or the Famari. In approximately one calendar year, final construction on the new Perry High School and the new middle school, called the Iwakuni Middle School, and we just found out the Blue Ninjas, <laughs> will be complete. Memories from our current school will not be forgotten, and neither will the memories these seniors take with them when they leave this ceremony. I've had three very good years at Perry. Just when I think it cannot get any better, the students, parents, faculty, and staff, and the community surprises me yet again. A couple of seniors remarked in the interview sheet that there was nothing they would change about Perry because of their love for it. I am happy to be a part of the family and share in this love of this school. Last year, when our area director and district superintendent visited with us, I told her, that I wanted to do my last 10 years of federal service at Perry because I, because I could not go to another school after this one because it would not be fair to the new school. Someone who attended last year's graduation sent an ICE comment and asked our superintendent to allow that to happen for both myself and Ms. Hill. I could not think of any better way to finish my career. One down and nine to go. Thank you. We are now at a point in our program where our seniors will demonstrate how much this night means to them and how much MC Perry means to them. And they have prepared for you a very special dedication.
This year's class salutatorian is Ime Primus, graduating with a cumulative GPA of 4.018. Please welcome Ime, who will deliver the salutatorian address. taking the time to be here as the class of 2015 celebrates the end of our high school years and begins the exciting chapter of our next lives. As I look around this auditorium today, I see we are surrounded by people who have taught, mentored, and motivated, motivated us over the years. Parents, family members, and teachers, you have all been significant in our education and shaped us into the responsible adults we are today. We couldn't have made it this far without you, so I want to take this time to thank you all. I would like to also acknowledge Samantha Gilbert. She has been right there along with me throughout the years and served as alternate salutatorian. When asked to deliver this speech in front of all of you today, my first response was, can someone else do it? Since I'm not one who easily expresses myself in front of an audience. Then it hit me that this is an opportunity that comes once in a lifetime, and so here I am. Class of 2015, let's go back to the beginning. Remember when we all walked into class as a freshman? Looking back from that time until now, we have faced and overcome many challenges. Despite these challenges, this day marks all the hard work and efforts completed over the past four years have finally paid off. Now as seniors, we stand here ready to move forward in the world and achieve bigger and better things in life. Regardless of moving forward, we can't help but look back at all the memories made these past years, maybe even getting a little nervous of this next big step. Before being able to wear this gown and cap today, we have made memories that will be cherished forever. Over the course of this past year, I believe that our senior class has created a closer bond. Aside from being in school together, memories with our class started out from the first senior class to Hiroshima before the school year started, to camping with a group of seniors in Mijima, and having the majority of the senior class spending the last Saturday school before graduation stuck together in four hours of Saturday school because of the unauthorized senior skip day. <laughs> Here's some advice. Don't skip school on the day of Mongolian night, or if you're gonna skip, make again. <laughs> Rosa Parks said it best, memories of our lives, of our works, and our deeds will continue in others. Despite the fact that our senior class is small in size and constantly changing, our involvement within the school community has gained numerous individual and school achievements. Over the course of the four years, 21 students out of the 28 have been involved in sports ranging from baseball, football, JRHC, basketball, tennis, softball, cross country, volleyball, and wrestling. In addition, our senior class alone has accumulated accumulated 83 letters athletically, representing S.C. Perry. To keep the memory of class 2015, we proudly leave behind banners to hang in the gym to show the outstanding achievements of 11 of our classmates. <coughs> to my fellow classmates, these past four years have been quite the journey, but we have made it this far. Today is a noteworthy and altering time for our lives as we are faced with new upcoming challenges in our future. I'm very certain that every individual of the class of 2015 has the potential to succeed. My challenge to each of you, and to myself, is to do all that you can do to reach your full potential. If each of the 28 students in this graduating class is able to do that, just imagine the effect that it would have. The future is truly in our hands, so let's make the most of it. Good luck and congratulations, class 2015. Remember, stay classy, you cunning. Thank you. scholarship money. Fortunately, some of our Perry students apply for and receive scholarships that will assist them in their educational endeavors. Here to recognize those students is our assistant principal, Ms. Priscilla Hill. Good evening. Wonderful advice, I Good job. Okay, so as Ms. Kehoe said, every year millions of dollars go unrecognized and unclaimed. Um, for scholarships, but I'm here to give you some of the scholarships that our students at Matthew C. Perry High School have earned for the upcoming year. Um, when I call your name, please stand. Tenacity Clayton. Tenacity Clayton has been offered $72,000 from Xavier University and received a $2,000 scholarship from DECA or Iwa, at the Iwakuni Commissary. Thank you, Tenacity. <laughs> Jarrell Davis. 
Jarrell Davis has been offered $40,000 from Osaka Gaku <laughs> University. Gaku University. Thank you, Jarrell. <laughs> Chancellor Gardner. Chancellor Gardner has been offered $12,000 at Savannah College of Art and Design. <laughs> Carlo Castro. Scratch it. Okay, Tristan. <laughs> no. Tristan Graydon. Tristan Graydon has also been offered forty thousand dollars from Osaka Gaku. Gaku. Yes. <laughs> Justin Hill. Justin Hill. <laughs> Most love, Justin. Justin has accepted forty thousand dollars from Illinois College. Alexa Hodges. Alexa Hodges has accepted $2,000 from the Iwakuni Officer Spouses Club, $58,550 from the University of Missouri, Columbia, and offered $18,000 from Marquette University. Thank you, Alexa. <laughs> Maya Lackey. Maya Lackey has accepted $600 per month, totaling $21,600 from the University of Scuba. <laughs> University of Scuba. Thank you. <laughs> Daniel Montez Dioka. Daniel has been offered $24,000 from North Arizona University. <laughs> Elise Sopis. Elise has accepted $2,000 from the University of Nevada, Reno, and Iwakuni Spouses Wives Club. Thank you. The grand total for this senior class that has been accepted is $385,000. Way to go, senior class. <laughs> we encourage parents that are here who have upcoming seniors to have your students apply for scholarships. It is inexcusable for so much money to go unclaimed when it's out there. There's a scholarship book at your local library that you can find that has over 15,000 available scholarships. Use it. Way to go, senior class. This year's valedictor class valedictorian is Maya Lackey, who is graduating with a cumulative GPA of 4.250. Please welcome Maya Lackey, who will be delivering the valedictorian address. graduating class of 2015, and all of those who took their time to come and celebrate this memorable day. It would be an understatement to say how honored I am to be standing before you. Of course, let me begin by thanking my parents and relatives for their love and support, including my grandparents who are here today. I can't imagine that I would be here without them. そして今日も倒れて一番忙しい時なのにわざわざ遠いところから来てくれて本当にありがとう。Let me also thank my friends and all of those who supported me when I needed it. Especially the teachers to whom I owe great respect and gratitude. Your dedication to students is so very often underrecognized and underappreciated. Thank you. I have performed live dances in front of hundreds of strangers and even on national TV. Yet, as your valedictorian, I remain nervous as this is my first time delivering a speech. If I could express what I want to say through dance or even art, I would gladly do so as my confidence level would be much higher. <laughs> Many students often come and go through Perry and our class is relatively small. But for that very reason, I believe that a graduating class has a really close bond. Some of us, though, including, a, including me, have actually been here from a very young age. I myself have attended Perry since the fourth grade, and I have to say I loved every moment of it. The Perry experience has been great 
and it will always feel like home. I met many people here. Every teacher, every parent, every student I encountered has influenced my life in one way or another. And as I tried to articulate what they've meant to me, all I can say is thank you. I volunteer at the medical clinic where a certain person keeps telling me whenever I make a mistake, you will fail. Now, that sounds quite harsh, but I don't take it as a negative comment. Because to mistakes is to make to make mistakes is to be human. Rather, I use that as a motivation to exceed expectations. As humans, we will continue to make mistakes. We will continue to make choices that makes us wonder, why did I do that? Well, what was I thinking? Yet it is those very mistakes and lessons learned that will eventually define who we are and who we will become. Life will not always be fair, and we must fall often. And I hope that we can all learn from our failures, make adjustments, get through it, and move on. To quote a dancer that I greatly respect, everything happens for a reason. So, even if you do make the wrong choice, or just completely mess it all up. If you don't give up, you can always reach success. An example of this from my own little experience, which is obviously not a huge success, like Steve Jobs successfully creating Apple, but who said it had to be a big achievement? I have been doing dance since the seventh grade, and it wasn't until some years after that I decided to do an audition. Now, this was a pretty big audition, and my first time being judged by someone in public. And well, you may have guessed it, but it didn't go too well. It was natural for me to dislike the result and be very disappointed in myself. But now that I think about it, I made use of that negative experience and its subsequent auditions. This led to me eventually dancing with well-known Japanese pop artists, a pretty rare and fun experience to have. Finally, now that I've shared my not so much words of wisdom, as high school graduates, we face many uncertainties in the future. Let us not forget that it is our responsibility to push ourselves in this new beginning, to keep learning at every turn and at every trial, and never underestimate our own potential to succeed. Good luck to all of you, and congratulations, class of 2015. Thank you. has asked Colonel Robert Boucher to be their guest speaker due to his outstanding dedication and support to all of the students at Matthew C. Perry High School. Colonel Robert Boucher was born in Alaska but calls Pennsylvania and Washington State his home. After moving several times while growing up, he graduated from high school in Pennsylvania. He then went on to Eastern Washington University where he earned a Bachelor's of Science in Design and Technology. Then he went to the Army War College and earned a master's degree in strategic studies. <clears throat> Colonel Boucher is someone who values hard work and self-sacrifice. Working full-time in garage and gas stations to pay his way through college, and he credits one of his bosses in particular, a World War II vet, for teaching him at a young age the immeasurable value of honesty and a hard day's work, traits that have served him well. His military career began from graduating from Eastern Washington University as being a commissioned officer in the United States Marine Corps in August 1989. Since then, he has selfless, selflessly distinguished himself in countless learning and leadership positions around the globe. Just a few places in which he has served are Hawaii, Florida, East Timor, Kuwait, Iraq, HMX-1 in Quantico, Virginia, Okinawa, the Pentagon, and now in Iwakuni. A few of his noteworthy accomplishments are over 6,000 mishap-free flight hours, the defense, notorious 
Service Medal. The Notorious Service Medal with Star. The R, sorry, the R, the Air Medal with Valor. The Navy and Marine Commendation Medal with Star. Colonel Boucher's journey brought, brought him here on 12 July 2013, where he assumed command of the Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni. He is proud to be joined with his wife, Julie, who he has shared over 22 years of marital bliss. And he is also extremely proud of their three great kids. Despite the fact that he's a Seahawks fan, we are fortunate to have him here tonight, not only as our station commanding officer, but also as our honored guest speaker. Without further ado, please help me welcome Colonel Robert Boucher. trouble getting back through the gate. <laughs> but, uh, thank you, Principal Brown, Vice Principal Hill, uh, teachers, family, class of 2015. Thank you very much. It's a great honor for me to be able to address you today. Almost 30 years ago, um, in June of 1985, I was sitting on my high school uh, stage in northeastern Pennsylvania. And I'm sure some of you sitting there today are wondering the same things. Where did the time go by this year? Is this really happening? Is this truly the end of my senior year at MC Perry? Well, it is your graduation and time did fly by and it only accelerates with age, so I'm told. <laughs> well, I'll sh I share a little bit of uh, something in common with all of you. Um, I was a military brat myself um, and my parents were both in the Air Force. Uh, we moved around a lot in elementary school. I think I went to four or five different elementary schools and uh, my wife, Julie, she's a uh, military brat as well, but from a Navy family. So uh, together we have uh, shared that same experience and she remembers vividly how tough it was moving around as a teenager through her junior high school years. Now I know some of you are thinking, all right, Air Force background, Navy background, how did he end up in the Marine Corps? <laughs> I know, seriously, instead of joining one of the easier service, they're better equipped, <laughs> nicer bases, bigger budgets, I joined the Marine Corps, the hardest and the cheapest of the services. Honey, I'm sorry, if I was an Air Force Colonel, we'd probably have a butler, a private jet. We'd be on a base with a golf course for sure, and uh, we'd definitely have a chili, so. Uh, my mistake, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, I joined the Marine Corps instead, and so this speech is gonna be about bad choices, and regrets. <laughs> no, so seriously, I think he wants a more positive note, so um, I'm gonna try to change this. Yeah, I'll get this back on track. Um, all right, uh, the truth is, uh, I truly have not re regretted one day in the Marine Corps, um, and I wouldn't have it any other way. And I know with absolute certainty that the easiest path, no matter what you do in life, is definitely not always the right path. And usually the easiest path is a temporary compromise of your own standards or worse, your own integrity. Sometimes it's very tempting to take the easy road, but the good things in life take hard work and it always pays off. For those of you sitting there on stage that know exactly what you want to do for the rest of your life, you are very lucky and I'm truly envious. Some of you are sitting up there on stage wondering, like I did 30 years ago, that you don't have a clue what you really want to do in life, and that's okay. Guess what, after 26 years in the Marine Corps, and I know they're gonna force me out soon, I still haven't figured out what I want to do with the rest of my life. And I bet if you ask the majority of people sitting out there in the audience, um, the grown-ups out there, uh, if they thought they knew what they wanted to do for the rest of their life when they were sitting up on their high school graduation stages, I'm sure not many of them would have chose the path that they're on right now. And for those that are lucky enough to have chose the right path immediately, like some of you will, uh, I bet you they'd tell you that the path that got them here today wasn't the path they planned out. So you've got a wonderful journey ahead of you. When I graduated high school, there was no way you would have convinced me that I was gonna join the Marine Corps and stay in all these years. In fact, I was telling everyone that I was gonna get a degree in biology. I said that because bi I did well in biology and I liked it, but I mostly said it because it fit me in a box for other people to accept. 
you know, probably some like you did, you know, it's something to write to grandma. I'm going to college, gonna study, whatever. That's what, uh, we feel pressure uh, to tell people that you have some kind of master plan in life and that you've got it all figured out. You feel pressure to fit into one of the boxes or societal norms. So whether you're going straight to a job, joining the military, a trade school, going to college, you have time to figure out what the rest of your life is going to be. So take some pressure off yourself and focus on doing what's the best you can do at the task you have at hand today. When I accepted the invitation to address you tonight, I really didn't know what my message was going to be about. Then one day I came across a tagline, and like those news stories that you see in Google or Yahoo, and it was entitled, The Things I Should Have Learned in High School. And I thought, wow, that seems reasonable, and let me read that and see if I can get some ideas about what to say to you. So it had a list compiled of uh, people who had just recently graduated between five and 10 years of high school, and they had a list of the things they wanted to have learned. And they said things like, I wish they taught me how to manage credit card debt or how to balance a checkbook. And I thought, wow, that's, that seems reasonable, you know? I wish they taught me how to say I'm sorry or to admit when I made a mistake. I thought, well, that would have served me pretty well in marriage and in life. <laughs> um, and then they, uh, someone said uh, they should teach empathy in high school. And uh, they, just, the list went on, et cetera, et cetera, with things like that. But I didn't get far down the list before I realized the article was complete uh, BS, so they say. <laughs> Those are not lessons that can effectively be taught in high school. Those are lessons you will have to learn and sometimes relearn in life. The people who wanted those uh, lessons taught in high school, they're the ones that wanted shortcuts. They wanted the easy way out. They wanted to, be, uh, the, they wanted to have their high school responsible for the choices that they've made. Schools can't teach it all, and neither will the other institutions that you attend. You have to experience life. Class of 2015, you're going to throw some gutter balls. You're going to make some mistakes in life. But I know in my heart you're going to throw more strikes. You're going to throw more strikes because of the upbringing you got here at MC Perry. And it is giving you the tools to, to make a great life and make good choices throughout your life. You just have to use those tools they gave you. Your time at Perry has been the foundation to build a wonderful life upon. You are a special class that has been surrounded by a caring community and some of the greatest teachers, parents, coaches, and mentors I have ever been associated with. I ask you to take some time to thank the ones that got you here today if you haven't already. Teachers and faculty don't always get the satisfaction of seeing you, your future successes. Mrs. Hill won't hear one of you telling one of your uh, future children, you are not wearing that to school today. <laughs> Mr. Jones will not hear you say, do more, get more. <laughs> so I hope you take the time to so uh, seek them out tonight or in the near future and thank the ones that got you here to include your parents. This has been an amazing year for the class of 2015, but the best years are ahead of you. So embrace the challenges, work hard, and be cautious when offered the easy path in life. Congratulations, I wish you all the best in life, and thanks again for having me as your guest speaker tonight.
James Phillips. teaching me that it's never okay to give up and that what hard work really means. I also thank my mother for being my biggest fan, even from the States. I also want to thank Coach Macias for helping me be successful on and off the field and for being a great mentor. Finally, I thank my brother Lewis. You are my best friend and the best brother I could ever ask for. We've been there, done that, and each other and had each other's backs throughout. I love you, man. Wade Blake. Austin will attend Craven Community College in North Carolina to pursue a degree in business, then join the Air Force and serve his country. I would like to thank my family and Katherine Taylor for keeping me on track and making sure I had my priorities straight and for lending me all a helping hand whenever I needed it. <laughs> Kara Michelle Bocamper. staying in Iwakuni to work and take classes online with Pensacola State College. I would like to thank my family for always supporting me and helping me through my struggles that I have faced throughout my lifetime. <laughs> Len John Cadavos. John will attend Florida Atlantic University in Boca Raton, Florida to pursue a degree in business. I would like to thank my family, friends, mentors, and the Framerai for being part of my life and my journey. Mom, there is no one stronger or more capable woman in the world. You are my number one lady in life. Angel, you are the angel we all need in life. The house is yours now. I hope you learned from us. Stay strong, have fun, and stay true. Dad, you're the perfect man, man and gentleman. Thanks for your constant love and for putting your family first, not just in words, but in your life. Sam, you have always pushed me to my limits in life and have always been the big brother when I needed you most. Friends and extended family, it only gets better from here. Good vibes, we're going straight to the top. I love you all. <laughs> Tenacity, Michelle Clayton. <laughs> Tenacity will attend Xavier University in Cincinnati, Ohio to pursue a degree in early education. I would like my, to thank my parents for letting me keep the leftover change from sports trips and for always making sure I knew I was loved, even at my worst. Thank you for the memories and for helping me grow into the woman I am today. I love you. Jay Ayala Cone Murakami.
Jay will attend the Kyoto Conservatory for Music in Kobe, Japan to pursue a degree in music. I would like to thank my mom and dad for allowing me to realize my own potential, a gift not easily repaid. Thank you to all of my teachers who create such a wonderful atmosphere at school and to my friends and teachers and school staff who gave me kindness. I sincerely thank you from my heart and hope that kindness may find its way back to you. Jarrell Demond Davis. Jarrell will attend Osaka Gakuen University in Osaka, Japan to pursue a degree in international business. I would like to thank my mom and Robert, my stepdad, for taking care of me. Michael plans to join the United States Marine Corps to serve his country. I would like to thank my family and friends for always supporting me when I needed it and for helping me develop good views of the world in my future. They always help me remember that despite the current situation, things will always improve. Jason Carl Fowler. <laughs> Peyton will attend and play soccer at Cape Fear Community College in Wilmington, North Carolina, where he will pursue a degree in physical therapy. I would like to like to thank my mother, father, and brother for always being there for me. I wouldn't be where I am today without all of you. Be good for mom and dad, Caden. I love you all. <laughs> Chancellor Christian Gardner. Chancellor will attend Western Washington University in Bellingham, Washington to pursue a degree in design. I would like to thank my family for putting up with my procrastination and helping me through life. They have taught me many life tips and always supported me. I would have written more, but I procrastinated. <laughs> Samantha Gilbert. Samantha will attend the University at Buffalo in Buffalo, New York to pursue a degree in pharmacy. I'd like to recognize my friends and family for being part of my memories from Iwakuni, Japan that I will always remember and cherish. Monica Ami Grant.
Monica will attend, attend a new college of Florida in Sarasota, Florida to pursue a, pursue a degree in psychology after taking a gap year. I would like to recognize my parents, of course, for bearing with me, my friends for making my high school year unforgettable, and Mr. Earhart for teaching me English. If it wasn't for you, I would still be reading Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Tristan Donald Graydon. <laughs> Tristan will attend Osaka Gakuin University in Osaka, Japan to pursue a degree in international studies. I would like to recognize my parents and friends for pushing me to complete high school and to get on the right path for my future. <laughs> Justin Richard Hill. Justin will attend Illinois University in Jacksonville, Illinois to pursue a degree in physical therapy. I would like to recognize my friends and family for being part of my memories from Iwakuni, Japan that I can remember and cherish forever. I would like to recognize my family and friends for supporting me throughout my life. I would also like to recognize Mr. Lang for his support. He helped me get into college and he encouraged me to do better in school and in Osaka. Uh, and in soccer. Ole, ole. Alexa Deleuze Hodgen. Alexa will attend the University of Missouri, Columbia in Columbia, Missouri to pursue a degree in journalism. I would like to recognize my parents for being my support system and my number one fan for the past 18 years. You sacrifice so much for me, and even if I don't always show it, I truly appreciate everything you do. I love you, and I hope I make you proud. Mark Matthew Hornbrook. Mark will attend Washington, Washington State University in Pullman, Washington to pursue a degree in medicine. I would like to recognize my parents and family for supporting me through school and sports. Maya Lynn Lackey. I will attend University of Tsukuba in Ibaraki, Japan to pursue a degree in biology. I would like to recognize my parents for all of their love and support, for I could not be here without them. <laughs> Daniel Joseph Montes de Oca. Daniel will attend Chance Chandler Gilbert Community College in Gilbert, Arizona to pursue a degree in network administration. I would like to recognize my mother and father for supporting me with my dreams and aspirations, and for my siblings for the continual friendship.
Jaime Heather Primus. Jaime will attend Doshisa University in Kyoto, Japan to pursue a degree in business and economics. I want to thank my parents for being supportive over the past years and for helping me become the person I am today. Mom, thank you for your unconditional love and being my number one role model. Thank you for the wonderful friends who have made my time here unforgettable. As for Toshki and Anna, thank you for being the best siblings. Hope we continue to grow closer in the future. Joshua Ray Pruitt. <laughs> Joshua will return to the U.S. to work for a year, then attend a community college and later the university in Florida. I would like to thank all of my teachers and friends for supporting me throughout school. <laughs> Darnell Therese Richardson. Darnell will attend Craven Community College in New Bern, North Carolina. I'd like to recognize my family for always being there and supporting me throughout my life and school career. I would also like to thank my older sister for setting a good example for me to follow, who finished school a couple years before me. Also my younger sisters, who can be very annoying, but also very supportive. <laughs> Madison Renee Robertson. <laughs> Madison plans to join the workforce in the field of culinary arts and later pursue a degree in culinary arts. I would like to recognize my mom, dad, brother, teachers, and coaches. Mom and dad, I cannot put into words how amazing parents you are and the things that you have done for me. I'm very proud to be your daughter. To my awesome brother, we may not always get along at times, but you are the best brother I could ask for, and I love you. To my teachers, I'm so thankful for all the guidance and mentoring over the years. Without the encouragement and support from everyone, I would not have succeeded in accomplishing my goals. Dina Roman. <laughs> Dina will attend Salem State University in Salem, Massachusetts to pursue a degree in business administration. I would like to thank my friends and family for always pushing me to be the best I can be and believing in me 100%. You've gotten me to where I am today, and I love you all more than anything. Also, a big shout out to my mom for making me eat all my veggies. <laughs> Richard will attend the University of Wisconsin Eclair in Eclair, Wisconsin to pursue a degree in graphic design. I would like to recognize my parents for making me the person I am today. Without their wisdom and guidance, I would not be where I am. I also applaud them for being able to put up with me for 17 years. <laughs> Elise.
Thais Sierra Silvas. Elise will attend the University of Nevada in Reno, Nevada to pursue a degree in biochemistry and molecular biology. I'd like to recognize my parents for always supporting me and loving me unconditionally. <laughs> Catherine Nobumi Taylor. Catherine will attend Wiregrass Technical College in Valdosta, Georgia. I would like to recognize my parents and family and teachers for believing in me and pushing me to do my best in all aspects of life. I'd like to especially thank my dad and mom for giving me the chance to be alive and free. I love you guys and I'm going to miss you a lot. Thank you Mama, Christina, and Uncle Eddie for flying out to see me. Heidi Adrian Thomas. <laughs> Heidi will attend the University of Central Missouri in Warrensburg, Missouri to pursue a degree in engineering. I would like to recognize my parents for supporting and encouraging me to do better throughout my whole life. I could ask for anything better without being selfish. I love you both unconditionally. Also to my sister Alex, I'm sorry for throwing wiffle balls at your head when you were younger. You can say you hate me all you want, but I know that you're really trying to say I kind of love you too. Cedric Kenyell Brazil Deloria. <laughs> Jedrick will attend St. Louis University in Baguio City, Philippines to pursue a degree in computer programming. I would like to thank my parents for guiding me and supporting me all the way, and my friends for all the help that you've given me. I couldn't have asked for a better class to graduate with than my Perry Senior. On behalf of the faculty at MC Perry High School, I wish for today's graduates the happiness of a productive life, the respect of your fellow human beings, and the continued love and support of your family. Mr. Brown, it gives me great pleasure to present to you the graduating class of 2015. for today's graduates the happiness of a productive life, the respect of your fellow human beings, and the continued love and support of your family. I present to you the graduating class of 2015, and I accept this class as the newest member and now alumni of Matthew C. Perry High School. Furthermore, 
On behalf of the Department of Defense Education Activity and its director, Mr. Thomas Brady, Department of Defense Dependent Schools Pacific and its director, Dr. Linda Curtis, and the Japan District and its superintendent, Ms. Lois Rapp, I have reviewed and certified your official school transcripts and now have the honor and privilege to announce that you are members of the class of 2015 and are now graduates of Matthew C. Perry High School. Graduates, you may turn your tassel.